for this particular book, in the King James translation, it's not true of all translations, it's called the Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Every piece of that might be misleading, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right? Because the epistle, it's an open question, is this really a letter? Most of Paul's letters say, I'm talking to this branch. Okay. And this is from Paul. And say hi to this person. And how's this person doing? And oh, I forgot to mention this other thing, right? <laughs> They're kind of all over the place, sometimes hyper focused, sometimes, sometimes mixed. And that's Paul's personality. And that's how a letter works, okay. right? Hebrews is more like an, an essay or a sermon where it's developing this one theme, okay. right? So it may or may not be an epistle. It's also called to the Hebrews probably because it reviews the history of the children of Israel and kind of connects that to Christ. And a few generations after the time it was written, that might have felt like, oh yes, yeah, some members of the church were Jewish and they're from Jewish families and lots of us are not. In Paul's generation, every branch of the church has a lot of Jewish converts. That's how they started. And then there might be people where the family was mixed. So there wouldn't have been like a separate place where the Jewish Christians were okay. independent of Gentile Christians, right? So that might give you the wrong image of what the early church looked like. Okay. And then that last part of Paul the Apostle, it's definitely consistent with Paul's theology and teachings. So most scholars think whoever wrote this would have been someone close to Paul. Okay. There's a couple reasons to wonder whether it was Paul who wrote it. Number one, the writing style. So obviously people who read Greek, it's a lot clearer because in English in a translation, you're going to even out like the grammar, okay. right? So they're both, they're both going to look to us like English. So you'd miss some of it. And yet go read another of Paul's letter and count how many topical changes there are, right? Okay. He's somebody who's high energy and switches to a lot of things, which you won't see in Hebrews and literally any other Paul letter. You can watch him move around. You can watch him greet a lot of people. Those things you're not going to see in Hebrews. Okay. That asks us something too about why is scripture scripture, right? And it's not just scripture because Paul wrote it, right? It's scripture because it testifies of Christ and his spirit's there. And we can meet that power in these pages. Mm -hmm.